Here is a very simplified uh, circuit showing it as a load resistor across a 12 volt supply drawing 2.8 amps. The current should be the same throughout this series circuit but it is not. And part of the rod circuit there will be 17.6 amps flowing. And here's a little bit more exploded simplified view. The key in this circuit is several things. The rod circuits, actually they are wound on the same form and magnetically coupled, but for this particular presentation I have shown as separate. And it feeds the cell and that's where the 17.6 amps is there and flows through the cell to the second rod circuit. And here's a little bit more detail. You're seeing the damn fast diodes. If you disconnect the damn fast diodes, you have an under unity circuit. Now, very critical is the tuning of the bias, frequency, mark space, and amplitude. And here are all the meters seen at one time. Draw from the power supply is 2.8 amps. The volts across the cell is 2.57 and 17.6 amps drawn through the uh, circuit from the cell. This is the circuit that was used for this particular test. This is a more advanced circuit. Uh, what I have done is uh, I've added uh, a power takeoff uh, and this can be seen in Patrick Kelly's original work. Here is just an earlier test showing the same thing laid out a little bit differently. And notice across the cell you got two coupling capacitors and a bridge rectifier. Uh, I'm doing the same but not taking the power off there and I'm running one motor and one fan. The meter on the left is the output voltage from the PC power supply. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers suggested adding that and I'm glad he did because his power supply has problems. So what I want to do is I'm going to uh, hook it up now what I want to do is, is show you, I have a special circuit that I've developed here. Uh, you can see the fan running and you can see this motor running. Uh, this is, uh, I'm tapping power out of the other areas of the coil here with this particular um, circuit here. Um, these are caps, diodes, uh, things like that. I want to just show you that there's plenty of torque. The motors are supposed to run at 12 volts and they're running at uh, about uh, uh, 9 volts right now. I'm going to turn, take the signal off and watch the, watch the little motor here torque when I apply. So we do have useful work being done. What I had before, and I, I think it's because this power supply is in bad condition, it actually, when I connected this new load to the, the coil system, uh, I was getting about an increase of about 400 mils in the rod circuit and actually a decrease of about 50 mils in the supply. I'm now connecting the signal generator and uh, let me get some reading here for our uh, lost my connection on the voltage things over here. Notice that our, our voltage should be 12 volts and this power supply is a little bit flaky. So we will not have the same readings as we saw in the previous uh, simplified circuit. But I want to show you here how the oscillator and the mark space have a, a, a tremendous effect on the over unity ratio. Uh, remember this is the current from the power supply. This is the rod current. This is the voltage across the cell. What I do, I try to adjust this circuit for the highest current in the, in the rod. And I can keep going adjusting and you will see here that I can still hold the same rod current but I can go down now and drop the, the current out of the power supply. This is uh, the damn fast diode uh, back EMF circuit working. And we're still at 14 amps in the cell, but we dropped to 4.6. Um, let me zoom in closer on that motor so you can see it turning. I think you'll see it in the other video. And I think I got some wires.
kind of blocking everything here. Uh, come on, there it is. You can actually hear it when I should be able to see that thing turning over there. Yeah, I can see it there. Now I'm going to reach over and, and disconnect my sampling point. So, in, so because be, I'm sorry. So I'm running my load, and I'm also running two other devices off an extract circuit. I'm going to disconnect this extract circuit. Okay, and they stop running. And what's interesting is I'm not drawing any more current. In fact, I had was able to actually, with an additional load, increase the current in the in the uh, rod circuit uh, an additional about 500 milliamps. However, uh, just as I had photographed the stills for this, uh, I had two failures. One was in my circuit, and the other was the power supply. So again, I'm fighting this uh, this destructive voltage. So I hope this is uh, pretty interesting to everybody. So, uh, and I hope that my diagram at the beginning makes things a lot clearer for people.